One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. okay, so Justin, I was able to print the A block. I don't have scripts on that right now. I just need like one other human in the building. Can, uh, can you get an engineer to print it out or something? I don't know. I'm gonna have to deal with that in a minute. Ryan, thank you for setting this up. I don't know how, how far out, Justin. And who, do we have Alexandra for weather? About two minutes. I gotta stand really quick to zip this. <clears throat> Are we still doing a live look for the first headline, Justin? He hasn't dialed in. So if, if we don't have him, do we have VO or will it just be me on camera? <sighs> All right. All right, so I'm doing right now on CBS 46, more cases of the coronavirus showing up all over the metro. We are live this morning with what we're learning about a child infected, helping those in need. You good, Ryan? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for joining us. It is Sunday, March 22nd, broadcasting live from our remote set. Are we taking a live camera, Justin? Or just going right to Alexandra? What is it? Oh. Oh, just write to Alexandra. Right now on CBS 46, more cases of the coronavirus showing up all over Metro Atlanta. We are live this morning with what we are learning about a child now infected in our area. And helping those who need it the most during this outbreak, a local business stepping up to make sure healthcare workers get those much needed masks. This is CBS 46 News at 7, getting results. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday. Great to have you with us. I'm Megan Packer. As you can see, we are broadcasting from our remote set this morning outside of the CBS 46 studios. Great to have you with us. Let's get right to CBS 46 meteorologist Alexandra Steele, also working remotely this morning. Keeping it up. I have a couple layers on out here, Alexandra. Good morning. Hi, Megan. Good morning to you. Yes, in the interest of social distancing, we have separated. All the meteorologists have done it thus far. This morning is my first time. So, a good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We're certainly glad you're here. Well, let's take a look at some of the temperatures this morning. Certainly cooler than where we were at this time yesterday. Yesterday morning, our low temperature was 61. 47 degrees right now in Atlanta. So, certainly, it's a lot cooler than where we've been. But we've got rain on the way. So, that gorgeous day with the sunshine of yesterday is a bit of a history. Cloudy skies around. There is a bit of rain. It is well to the west in Alabama, but it will make its move in, but not until the afternoon. So we've got some hours before the rain settles in. About three or so, three, four o'clock, kind of contingent upon where you are. Rain beginning in the southwest, and then we will watch it around five or six, makes its move toward Atlanta, the metro, and areas east. We also have an easterly wind today, so that will keep it a lot cooler, areas north and east of Atlanta. So here comes the rain, as you can see, seven in the morning, we're still dry. It makes its move through noon, and then about two o'clock, the rain enters 
could see some heavier downpours with this and this is just kind of the beginning of really today and tomorrow with a lot of wet weather waves of rain although again today not a total washout we've got until the afternoon so get out and enjoy it temperatures though won't be very warm but boy Megan they certainly will be as we head into the next couple of days we're looking at 80s in the forecast with sunshine at the end of the week so for today increasing clouds the rain moves in a northwest wind 5 to 15 it will be a bit breezy later today talk more about the extended forecast coming up in just a few moments back to you Okay, Alexandra, thank you. We will see you in a little bit. And we do want to let you know that we here at CBS 46 learned yesterday that one of our staff members tested positive for the coronavirus. That person is doing well and in good spirits. We want to let you know our building and our facilities here have been thoroughly cleaned. They've been sanitized and deep cleaned. Uh, but again, we are just working out of an abundance of caution out of our remote studio this morning. Uh, but we are following CDC guidelines and guidelines from the Georgia Department of Public Health. Thank you so much for your patience uh, as we all get through this together. And we thank you to uh, continue to turn to CBS 46 for your news. We do want to get you up to date now with the latest numbers in Georgia. We are getting them multiple times a day. Take a look, the very latest coming into us from the state. Now up to 555 cases with 20 deaths in Georgia. And we are expecting to get the most updated numbers today at noon. All around the nation, there are now more than 23 thousand cases, including more than 300 deaths. And we have heard a lot about older populations affected by this, but now we are learning about a young patient infected with coronavirus here in Metro Atlanta. CBS 46's Iana Hughes is live this morning outside of Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Scottish Rite in Sandy Springs with more on what we know about this case. Iani. Good morning, Megan. Well, this is certainly not what we wanted to hear this morning, but it is uh, confirmed that Children's Health Care of Atlanta has confirmed that they are caring for a 12 year old patient in their hospital that has been confirmed with coronavirus. Now, officials say the patient is currently in isolation and the hospital is using appropriate precautions. They uh, also are limiting hospital visitors and their screening time. Apparently, the girl's symptoms started off much like the flu. She developed a fever a week ago on Thursday and her mom took her to to the emergency room. Then last night, CBS 46 spoke with her cousin. He says Children's Health Care of Atlanta initially thought it was the flu, so they sent her home. The fever did not go down, and she took her back the next day. They still said, you know, look, it's quite common that this happens in kids. Sent her back, and then she just kind of deteriorated. By Sunday, the fever had not broken, and she um, started coughing. And her cousin reports that she is in stable condition here at Children's Health Care of Atlanta Scottish Rite. And coming up at 930, he breaks down what happened after she got the fever. For now, we're live in Atlanta. Yanni Hughes, CBS 46 News. Okay, Ayani, uh, another coronavirus testing site is opening tomorrow. We want to let you know about, but this is only for people with referrals from their doctor. It will be in Cherokee County at the government complex in Woodstock. Again, it is not open to the public. It is limited to people 60 and older who are showing symptoms of the virus and have a referral. It is open this week only. Starting tomorrow, the DeKalb County Clerk of Superior Court Office will begin social distancing efforts. They will put those in place until April 13th. You can file criminal, civil and real estate documents online through their website. Services, though, such as passport applications and notary commissions will not be available in that office in DeKalb County until at least April 13th. The Fulton County Jail is also impacted by this. They are releasing dozens of inmates early to alleviate overcrowding during this pandemic. Jail officials say 29 people have been let out since Friday. Staff members evaluated each inmate's file to decide if they were eligible for early release. Right now, there are no confirmed or suspected cases at the Fulton County Jail. Inmates are getting screened at intake. To a CBS 46 exclusive this morning, a small business owner in Metro Atlanta is stepping up to help the health systems in Georgia during the pandemic. CBS 46's Yasmin Alston has more from the company called Vector Tools. They are based in Alpharetta. Doctors and nurses that are out there on the front line risking their lives need these things far more than we do. These masks are part of Albert Wu's business. He usually sells them, but now he's donating them instead. Every one of them were 
extremely pleased and extremely in need. So they were very happy about it. The masks are going to hospitals amid the coronavirus pandemic during a time when many healthcare facilities are facing shortages in supplies. We're facing a shortage just like everybody else in the country is looking at a shortage. We're not in a crisis situation at this point, um, but if everybody starts flooding into the hospitals, that could be an issue. These particular boxes are going to Northeast Georgia Medical Center in Gainesville, where health officials say they are grateful, but also have a reminder for people during this time. If you're feeling symptomatic, we want you to call in to your doctor's office, to your urgent care center, before going into the doctor's office or the hospital because we just can't overwhelm the system with what we're calling the worried well. We want people who are feeling symptomatic to, to understand that there's a process that could go through and questions that could be answered that could lead them to getting into the hospital or not. But if everybody shows up at the hospital at the same time, that could be the big problem that we're, we're looking at. As you saw, some of those masks are going to Northeast Georgia Medical Center. The rest of them will go to Grady Hospital Northside and a hospital in Albany, Georgia. Reporting in Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. This morning we are learning more about this morning, we are learning more about how this uh, virus is affecting newborn babies in China and also breaking down more of the numbers of what we're seeing here in our country. Elise Preston has this update. A new CDC report finds fatalities from the new coronavirus in the U.S. mirror deaths in other countries. Up to 27 percent of fatalities have been people over the age of 85, up to 11 percent among those 65 to 84. Ages 55 to 64, up to 3%, 1% for younger adults, and no deaths among children. Notably, among hospitalized patients in the U.S., nearly half admitted to intensive care units have been adults under the age of 65. Researchers in Australia have examined one of the nation's first coronavirus patients to better understand the disease. Doctors accurately predicted the otherwise healthy woman in her 40s who was hospitalized would recover from the virus in three days by mapping her body's immune cells. And preliminary data from China finds coronavirus is likely not transmitted from pregnant mothers to their newborn babies. Four babies born in Wuhan, the epicenter of the virus, did not show any symptoms of the virus. Three tested negative, while the mother of the fourth declined permission for the test. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. You can get the latest updates on coronavirus cases, closures, and more on our free CBS 46 streaming app. You can find it right now in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Good morning. Welcome back. It is 717 right now. I'm Megan Packer and meteorologist Alexandra Steele is at home this morning, bringing us the forecast in the interest of social distancing. Alexandra, good morning. Hi, Megan. Good morning. You know, I never have my cup at work, but I found it here in my cabinets at home. So hi, everyone. Good morning to you. So, well, as you head outside this morning, it's certainly a chillier start than we've had. Mostly cloudy skies out there. Temperatures yesterday morning were at 61. The normal high this time of year is 66. So off the charts, it was 74 degrees yesterday. And the tendency will be warming, but not today. So let me show you right now, 47 in Atlanta. It is 44 in Blairsville, 43. Good morning to you waking up in LJ this morning. So we've got cloudy skies overhead. There is plenty of rain, but it is way back in southwestern Alabama. So it will make its move in. But we've got the morning and we've got the early part of the afternoon. So the farther south and west you are, the earlier you will get into the rain. So cloudy skies hold, not much in the way of sunshine if we see any, just some filtered sunshine this morning, but the rain will move in this afternoon, beginning at around four o'clock or so, so the balance of the day more or less dry, but then here comes the rain. So timing it out for you, and there are the clouds, you can see where we are with all the clouds, but as we head toward the afternoon, the rain moves in from the south and west, could see anywhere between maybe a quarter inch of rain and a little more than that, but this really starts the day and tomorrow too, 
kind of a two-day affair with some rain more or less and even into Tuesday and then things really quiet down and warm up but until then we've got some rain to deal with so as we head through the afternoon and the evening the rain moves through again not a total washout but you can see kind of waves of rain the farther south and west you are the quicker the rain will make its way towards you so for today increasing clouds we also have an easterly wind we're getting into what's called a wedge so the farther north and east you are your temperatures really won't be able to get quite as warm you may stay in the upper 50s through the day so for today increasing clouds temperatures will get into the low 60s in Atlanta about 63 degrees today but as we head into the next couple of days rain also Monday especially Monday morning that's when the heaviest rain will move in and then it's kind of dissipating later in the afternoon so as we head toward the next seven days the rain today in the afternoon and tonight rain mostly concentrated Monday in the morning during the morning hours and then the next seven days will feature much warmer temperatures so as we head into Wednesday Thursday and Friday temperatures are gonna to get to 80 degrees so there's tomorrow 64 degrees with clouds and showers and then Tuesday a slight risk for some showers 72 degrees but that begins the trajectory of the warmth Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday a lot of sunshine and we get into the low 80s Maggie